or a family member has been injured, you might consider contacting a personal injury lawyer. Brenda Hollingsworth of OJ Hollingsworth joins us today to explain how a lawyer evaluates a potential case. Thanks for being here, Brenda. Oh, thanks so much for having me. It's always great to speak with you. And today, first, we would like to ask what a lawyer might look for when they are evaluating a potential client situation. Right. So when we hear from a client, there's two sort of main things that we're looking at. First of all, we look at who was responsible for this problem that happened. We call that, as lawyers, we call it liability. Whose actions caused the injuries? And then the second thing is we look at what are the losses? So the person is injured. What are the injuries? What's the expected recovery? Are there fin financial problems, sort of a loss of income? Are they out of pocket? So that's called the damages. Uh, anything from pain and suffering through to financial losses, that's the damages category. So we look at liability and we look at damages. And so when you say that you're looking a little bit at responsibility, what might a personal injury lawyer consider when it comes to evaluating who is responsible? Right, so different types of cases have different criteria. Uh, for example, a lot of people come to see us about motor vehicle accident cases. So we'll look at sort of the regular rules of the road, like who had the right of way at the time of the accident, were there stop signs, were there traffic lights, was there an advanced green? So those are the kinds of things that we look at. But there's other kinds of cases. Lots of people come and see us for slip and fall or trip and fall or other things that happen on people's personal property. And so those are a little bit different. So we'll investigate the scene. We'll have a look to see, you know, is there any defect on the sidewalk or the road where the person was injured? We'll look at the maintenance. Uh, did some, did the owner of the property take care of the property? Did they salt? Did they sand? Did they fix potholes? If it was indoor, do they have a mopping system? Is somebody monitoring? So it's all those kinds of considerations that, uh, that we'll investigate to figure out whether or not we think we can prove that our client uh, was the victim of somebody else's negligence. And it's interesting that you mentioned motor vehicle accidents as well as slip and fall cases. I imagine this is likely a, a very busy season for you. It is, you know, a lot of people think most of the accidents happen in the winter and certainly there are tons of accidents in the winter and in the early spring when things are slippery. But surprisingly, uh, lots of high speed accidents in the summer. So all year round, really, there are lots of different types of accidents, unfortunately, um, but we try to help where we can. Yes, very good point, Brenda. Now, how might a lawyer evaluate how much a potential client's case is worth? Right, this is the number one question we're asked, and we're usually asked it in our first appointment, and sometimes we're not able to say in the first appointment because there's actually quite a few uh, considerations. For pain and suffering, um, we don't have a chart that we can look at and say a broken arm is worth $45,000. In Ontario, we look at uh, what is that impairment? What's the problem that you have in your life because of this broken arm? And then also, you know, what are the types of things that you can't do because of your broken arm or your broken leg or, or whatever your injury might be? You have some psychological injuries. What do they prevent you from doing in your life? What have judges said when they've looked at this situation in the past? How does it compare to your situation? And we'll come up with a number really based on that, looking at your injuries, your impairments, and what the case law says. So there are a lot of things to consider, but if someone's watching at home right now, they're considering reaching out to a personal injury lawyer. You suggest that they, at the very least, reach out and see if they might have a case? Yeah, that's right. Free consultation, no strings attached. There's really no reason not to ask the questions. You can, you can make an informed decision then about whether you want to pursue a claim on your own. Lots of people do that and can do it successfully. Whether or not you want our firm to represent you, which we'd be happy to do. Or maybe there are circumstances that mean that you don't actually have a case that's going to succeed. And it's good to know that too. Great conversation as always. Brenda Hollingsworth of OJ Hollingsworth, thank you for this. Thank you. This is a paid presentation. Some guests appear on behalf of paid sponsors. Opinions expressed do not constitute advice.